right, welcome back everyone. This is the Happy Toolbox, and today I'll be showing you a quick tip on how you can do light linking inside of Octane for Cinema 4D. Um, or in layman's terms, how you can have specific lights affect objects differently within your scene. This is something that's been available in Cinema 4D Advanced Renderer and other programs for a long time. Octane initially didn't have it, so maybe this is something you overlooked, um, but it's super powerful. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my live render viewport in here since we're not going to be messing with a lot of stuff within the scene itself. I have a few objects in this scene set up. Uh, a couple of them are from our plant pack available on the happytoolbox.com, little plug. Um, <laughs> but I also have an HDRI set up and I have a couple octane lights. So if I turn off this octane light, you can see it's a really drastic difference in the lighting. So maybe I'm thinking that I want this sphere you know, it looks pretty good with this light turned off and the rest of the objects in the scene look good with this light turned on. So it's really easy to do this. If you go to your Octane light tag in light settings at the bottom, you'll see light pass ID. And so this one's set to one. Basically, initially all of your lights are set to one. So what I'm gonna do on this light is I'm going to change it to two. And then on this spherical object, I'm going to find it in my spheres. I'm going to right click at Octane Object Tag. And in the Object Layer tab, you can see this area that says Use Light Pass Mark. And it, currently it's disabled. So if I just drop down to Enable, basically it says, OK, you want to start selectively using lights in your scene. Here's all the lights you currently have access to. This doesn't mean you have eight lights in your scene. This just means this is as many lights as you can affect. So as you saw in our light tag, we turn that to light two. So if I uncheck light two that we referenced in our tag, boom, that light is no longer affecting that background sphere. All right, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this allows you to make even more beautiful renders than you were before. Uh, now with light linking as it's called. Uh, if you'd like this video and subscribe to our channel, that would help us out a ton. And as always, if you're interested in any 3D model packs, head on over to thehappytoolbox.com. That's where this plant pack is from. All right, I will catch you guys next week. See ya.